All right, ladies and gentlemen, the badge that we're talking about today is Slithery Finisher. I'm going to show you what it does for you in the actual game as far as laying the ball up first. Look at that. Avoid contact like the plague. That's what he wants to do. He wants to avoid the contact like the plague and make buckets as much as he can. The one thing I love about this badge is that it makes predicting what animation you're going to get so much easier a lot of times you're gonna a lot of times you're gonna be playing the game and uh, you're gonna go to the rim if you got on contact finisher I can assure you it gets real hard sometimes to chew to figure out watch this right this is gonna be a dunk because right he don't want to get touched did y'all see that that little speed boost I got he doesn't want to get touched and I'm gonna show you this in a couple of more clips that we're gonna have but look the guy's coming down obviously he's gaining on him I'm gonna press the button to dunk it. Look at look at Ricky Rubio definitely catching up. He don't want to get touched. Look at that speed boost. Look at the speed. Look at he Ricky Rubio is coming to look. He's coming full flat. Look at him drop his head. He wants to foul him. I don't know why he starts shuffling. He wants to foul him. Slithery finisher is not gonna allow that. If there's a situation where you can't get touched, that's where your player is gonna go, and he's gonna get there quick, fast, and in a hurry. Two things, like I said, the slithery finisher does. It gets you to the rim, gives you a little speed boost, but also it makes it so that you can go to the rim with no contact, and it makes it way easier to to predict what type of layup you're gonna get, and uh, and 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 thus the timing. And that you really need something like that when you do like me and you're playing with the shot meter off, like right here. Watch this. He's a, you, he gonna find me. He don't have a choice. Look at the move that he's gonna try to make around him though. Look at the move that my guy makes when he's when he's attacking the rim. Look, he don't want no smoke. He like, bro, I don't want no smoke. He's going to try to lay it up at the front of the rim. He had to foul him. He didn't have a choice. Look at this. Like, in addition to the speed boost going to the rim, if you got contact dunks, you punching some of this stuff on some people. It's like, once you put this on, you'll be able to see. Your guy will be able to see the most direct route to the rim that involves no contact. And if you and if you have a um if you got a dunker, he's gonna dunk the ball. And I'm gonna show you that in a second. I'm gonna show you some of the dunks that you're gonna get in um best best free throw in the game, by the way. I, I smoke what? Bro, I never missed that. Hey, let me know if y'all watch my stream and y'all know I never missed that free throw. But anyway, um, like I said, you're going you'll be just way better at predicting your layup animations. And like I said, when you play with no shot meter on, like I play with no shot meter on. That becomes one of the most important things that you can do is either get as many dunks as you can get or be able to predict your layup animations to the point. Let me see if I can go around and they're not going to let me go around. It. But to predict your layup animations to the point where you can time them properly almost every time. That's what that's really what it was about for me with Slithery Finisher. When I put this Slithery Finisher on, the reason I put it on is was because I saw what um, I saw what relentless finisher does right relentless makes it so i got rim protector now you don't want none of this get that shot out of here boy <laughs> anyway i got i i saw that i wasn't gonna put money in relentless finisher because it, relentless finisher contact finisher lets you finish with contact relentless finisher allows you to not lose a lot of energy when you're when you're making contact uh layups or dunks or whatever I said my player's not gonna really be able to do either. So I put on Slithery Finisher thinking that he would just avoid contact. And really, what it does is exactly what you're seeing happen. I, I'm able to go to the rim and dunk on people sometimes. Like I said, I'm gonna show you that in a second. I can time my layups better because I don't have a shot meter and I know he's gonna take the longest route to the rim anyway. And then, like like right here. Look at that. But. Because I know he's gonna avoid contact, I knew Ricky Rubio had no choice but to foul me. Look at, let's see if we can zoom out right here. Look, I got the corner on Rubio. I can hit the button. Look, nobody else even tries to do anything. I'm getting ready to dunk this, but Rubio decides to foul me. But but the, the main thing is, when you're using this badge, that's what's gonna happen. You, you, you can actually go up every time as if there's no contact or there's no contact going to be made because nine times out of ten that's what's gonna happen there's green there's not gonna be any contact made i'm gonna show y'all one more layup with this joint man and then we're gonna go to, go to the other thing like i said you're gonna avoid 
you're gonna do two things. You're gonna avoid contact like the plague and then watch the speed boost. Right! You're gonna avoid contact like the plague and when you're in transition like that and people try to fire you, it's not happening. It's, it's just not going to happen. They're gonna try to fire you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you a couple of more joints where people try to fire me. But look, you're probably thinking, well, hell, Ricky Rubio is so far behind. Look, he's trying to get, look, he, he wants to, he just can't do anything. That's what this, if you use this badge, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know that he, that normally you're gonna get fouled or something like that, but you notice that you get a speed boost to the rim or you get just, just unrealistic animations that allow you to make buckets that you normally wouldn't make. And plus you're not gonna be wasting a whole lot of, um, and plus you're not gonna be waste, bro, stop fouling me. And plus you're not gonna waste a whole lot of energy with contact, especially the person got something like brick wall or something like that. You're not gonna be wasting a whole lot of energy. Look at that. Look at the, look at the animations that I got just now. And I didn't really want that animation, but I'm, I'm thinking that, I was thinking that he was just gonna go there. But when you got an elite shot blocker like DeAndre Aiden now, now look at this. Look what happens. Had I had I been look at that a spectacular move by Jordan. They're just not gonna let me make that over over him. But on a regular person, I'm making that layup. A, a, a ordinary person, because I mean it was it was it was time pretty decently. But an ordinary person, I'm making that layup. But if you got a least shot blocker down there, you're probably not gonna make that layup. I'm gonna show you like I said. I'm gonna show you one more uh one more joint on this man, and then we're gonna go to the park, and I'm gonna show you some I'm gonna show you some clips of um of what I've been able to do in the park. But like I said, the biggest thing is that you're gonna notice probably is the animations. You don't have to, you, you can time your animations much more consistently. And, all right, here we go. Right! That's what I wanted to show y'all. Look at that right there. This is what I'm trying to show. Look at this. It don't matter who is down there. When Slithery Finisher is working the right way, when it's working the right way, Look at this. He don't want to get touched. It don't matter if he down there or not. Look at this thing. Rack. This is what it's supposed to do for you. If you got contact finisher, you're going to do this over and over again. Look at this speed boost. Huh. I don't care. Look, check look at check his footwork. Check 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 his footwork right here. That's all I want y'all to do. Check his footwork. Whoop. Anytime. Whoop. Look at look at look at look at his feet. Look at his feet. Watch them how they just change change direction. Look at this extra, uh, 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 uh. Dunk City, get up, get up, everybody, woo, everybody get up. That's what you're gonna, that's what you're gonna see right here. You see, he gonna take the pass of the least resistance. He sees the whole, huh, go straight to the rim on him like that. Let me show you some more gameplay, man, of, of these dunks. I got a 70 driving dunk, my guy. I've got a 70 driving dunk. And I got, I think this is the night. This, this might, no, this ain't it. Uh, I got a 70 driving dunk. Mm, this ain't it either. I've got a 70 driving dunk. And I have, I mean, 76 driving dunk, I think it is. And I've got like a, um, a, a 70 driving layup. And when I'm telling you that this badge bails me out more times than you would actually know, it bails me out a lot. Because I know that when I'm going to the rim, it's gonna be hard for anybody to check me. Is this it? This ain't it right here, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is it. Now this is a game that we lost. We had to spin the block. But look at this right here. Right off the bat, this is slithery finisher right here, right? You might not think so. Watch this. As soon as I go by this slow ass dribble move, look at this. Huh! This is what slithery finisher lets me do. As soon as I'm by this guy, he's gonna take off because he's gonna avoid the contact. So he's gonna kind of push him away. <laughs> dunking on the center. That's number one. The first thing it's gonna let me do. The second thing it's gonna let me do is at this point right here, or did I shoot a fade? I shot the fade on that. It ain't gonna help you shoot no fades. Another thing it's gonna do in transition in the part, it's gonna help people. It's gonna keep people from, from being able to foul you. Like I said, nobody wants to get fouled in the park. You wanna get, you want something that's gonna give you that speed boost so you can get on to the rim. And that's what it's gonna do right here. Look, you know this guy, you saw him reach right there. Watch this, watch this. Whoop! No, no sir, you're not gonna touch me. And you know he's trying to foul me because you saw him reach. Watch this, watch this. He's gonna try to reach. I avoid contact, boom. It literally like canceled out his animation. Whoop! 
I'm dunking. That's Dunk City right there. And then for the game, y'all gonna see it right here. It's, it's something very similar. Look at this. All right, so I missed a jump shot. All right, I sold. But look at this. Everybody running with me down court? Nope, you can't do it. Nobody can catch up. Because when you put that slithery finish on, it, you can see he's gonna see this the easiest way to the basket. Get a little speed boost. <laughs> he's gonna do the best thing for you. And like I said, man, I would say this is a new badge, a bot badge. You can call it whatever you want to. You can say, well, Jay, I, I know how to uh, dunk with the left hand. I know how to dunk with the right hand. Yeah, but when the computer's doing something for you, it's just a lot better. Hey, it's a guy, it's a guy out there. His name is, um, I saw a video the other day. Dude name is Lakers fan. Y'all need to go check him out, man. He's going to show you, he's showing you what Slithery Finisher does if you pair it with Contact Finisher and you got a slash of green. Look at that, though. I mean, uh, his link will be down in the description, and he's got a contact dunker, and he's showing you what it does. I mean, his video is probably better than mine, but look at this, man. Look at this. They're trying to get me. Whoop, shoot the gap. Go straight up on him. Avoid all contact. Perfectly timed. Green. That's what you're going to be doing if you put Slithery Finisher on, man. That's why it's the best badge in the game. It's the most slept on sl slashing badge in the game. And if you got it on and you can't do nothing but make layups, that's that's the reason that you need it on, really. Because you're going to get some, like if your dunk rating is low and you got a high high uh, layup rating, or if your, your layup rating is low, you got a high dunk rating, whatever the case may be, it's going to get you through traffic. And, and pretty much you're just going to, man, pass me this ball. Pretty much you just gonna flat out avoid traffic when you, once you hit the button. So even if you make a mistake, you're still, bro, why are y'all doubling me? LeBron! Even if you make a mistake, you'll still be able to come out on top. Anyway, man, I gotta get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you use Slithery Finish, if you like it, if you think the badge is all cap, if you if you think that I need to, I need to show some more stuff. If you watch Lakers fans video, whose link is down in the description, and you don't believe it after that, then it just ain't no hope for you. But I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ. Holla! Bro, they really made me lose a jump ball to Ricky Rubio? Are y'all serious? Bro, sometimes the game just... Let me see if we can get one more of these things. Sometimes the game just... Sometimes the game just don't want you to, just don't want you to prevail. Come here, Ricky Rubio. Yeah, there we go. Slithery. Look at me get through traffic, baby. I'm a slithery finisher in this mother son of a gun. I'm out, man. Peace.